When you start with an equation, you've got two sides equal to each other. As you work with the equation, you want to make sure that you keep those two sides equal to each other. So the golden rule of equations is going to be that what you do to the one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation so that you keep it balanced, so you keep those two sides equal to each other. Let's have a look at this. Let's illustrate this using a sweet equation. Imagine that I have these two tables and on these two tables I have exactly the same number of sweets. So here and here are the same number of sweets. The only difference is in this one the sweets are still in the box, some of the sweets are still in the box, whereas here I've unpacked them all. But the number of sweets on both these tables is exactly equal. I want to figure out now how many sweets are in this box here. And to do this, all I'm going to do is make sure that I align what I do on both the tables. So, for example, if I take two sweets of this table, if I want to make sure that I've still got the same number of sweets on both the tables, I need to also take two sweets of this table. Still having the same number of sweets on both tables means that in this box here, there has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sweets. Let's do one more quick example. We have the same situation, two tables that have exactly the same number of sweets on them. But this time there are three boxes. We don't know how many sweets are in a box, but we do know that all three, three boxes have exactly the same number of sweets as each other. So let's try and work out how many sweets per box. Well, we can start by taking three sweets off this table, but we then also need to take three sweets off this table so that we make sure that the number of sweets on each table is remains the same. We can then take a box off this table, but if we do that to keep things the same, we must keep, take a box off this table. So we know we now still have a situation where there's the same on both both same number of sweets on both tables, and so we know that the number of sweets in this box is equal to 10. And this is what we will be doing when we solve equations. As long as whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other side of the equation, we ensure that we keep things equal, and so we are able to solve the equation.